Hello everybody, Dave Thompson from the Coast Information Services Department. Today we are going to go over how to use AppStream 2.0 uh, with the pilot from Coast. To get started, we'll bring up a web browser. Any web browser should do. I will be using Chrome for this example. And we will start off by going to Info Services. .cccd.edu infoservices.cccd.edu We'll bring up the following web page which is the Coast Information Services help page and we will see over here this VDI AppStream Aporto uh, button. We will click on this and from this screen we will go down to AppStream 2.0 Pilot. We have two current links for AppStream depending on the application you are looking to run the top link is for ArcGIS, FrameCAD, and SOLIDWORKS users. And the second link is for SSPS and Visual Studio. We will go to the first link, ArcGIS, FrameCAD, SOLIDWORKS, and we will click on that link. AppStream does require single sign-in to the Coast system, so we will put in our username. We will put in our password. and we will log in. Once we put in the correct username and password, we will be brought to the Amazon AppStream 2.0 title page, and we can see the applications that are supported on this AppStream instance. Uh, we will select the app that we are interested in launching, which will be ArcGIS Map for this demonstration. At this point, AppStream will start providing an instance for us. This may take up to two minutes. However, typically about a minute is what it will take. Um, it will show you the countdown while it loads the instance. I'll speed this up and I'll be right back. All right, we're currently at one minute here of load time. It should be done any second now. There we go, so a minute and 10 seconds to load this particular instance today. Now once AppStream finishes loading, it will take me directly into the ArcGIS Arc Map program uh, because that was what I selected at the front page there as I got into AppStream. And here we are at the Arc Map interface. So a few things that we'll cover right away. Um, first off, up here at the top, we have a couple of different icons along this top bar. We'll go through each of those. This first icon here shows the catalog, the applications that are installed on this instance that you can use. Uh, we're currently using ArcGIS Map, but I could switch over to FrameCAD, FrameCAD Structure, <coughs> or SolidWorks by using this first icon of the catalog. The second icon is called Switch Windows. If I was running multiple programs, uh, ArcGIS and FrameCAD, I could run Switch Windows and it would allow me to pick which application I currently want to have in my view. The third icon that you see up on the top here is called My Files. And this will show you a folder directory uh, that comes with your AppStream instance. You have temporary files in home folder. Uh, what I like to do typically is inside of the home folder, I will make another folder that I call my home. It just kind of keeps my files uh, manageable. You can create a new folder here, add folder, and say uh, if you wanted to have just a folder for your ArcGIS, you could have just a folder for your ArcGIS files, or you could add a folder for your FrameCAD files. However you like to structure your folder in um, you can do so from this. Uh, this is also where you can upload files. So if you have files on your machine that you would like to upload into the AppStream instance, you can do so here. You can click on Upload Files. Now sometimes this Upload Files window will take quite a long time to load. It came up pretty quick for me on uh, this try here, but you may have to give it some time uh, the first time you do it. So I will go ahead and upload a file here. And you can see it put that file right there. Once you have files that you have either uploaded or created, you can also download from this window. Select the file, click on the little drop down arrow, you can download or rename the file. So this is where you do most of your file management is from this third icon of my files. 
This is a clipboard. This will allow you to copy to your local device and paste from your device to the remote session. Uh, if I had an image or some text that I wanted to bring in, I could copy it on my local machine and then paste it in using this function here or vice versa. If I had something I wanted to copy on the remote instance and bring down to my local machine, I could copy it uh, to my local clipboard. The fourth icon is settings and it will allow me to enable a microphone or go into a, a streaming mode. Uh, this is good if you are to offer um, packages like Zoom or um, WebEx. Uh, since we don't have that in this instance, this icon is probably not too useful for, for our users. This fifth icon is enter full screen mode. So AppStream is running in the browser and I still have all of my browser header and tabs up here. If I wanted to, I could click on the full screen mode. Those will go away. And I'm now really kind of in this uh, non-browser windowed mode. It's pretty much taken the full screen. To get back, if you want, out of the full screen, you can come back to the top. You'll see that as I move up to the top of the screen, uh, it will bring that bar back and I can click on the same icon, the uh, sixth icon over, which is exit full screen mode, and it will bring my browser back. Every time I do that, it takes a few seconds to resize, um, but not too much. The last icon is a multi-monitor icon. If I had two monitors, I could toggle this, and it would bring up yet another instance of AppStream, which would be a secondary monitor to the same instance, and I could drag that on over to my a secondary monitor and work off two monitors with AppStream. Okay, so let's go on to, we've uh, taken the file. We, earlier we used the My Files and we had uploaded into my home folder this MXD file. Um, this will stay, this is persistent. If you leave AppStream and come back at a different time, different day, that file will still be there. Now, I do recommend that if you have an important file, or you spent a lot of time working on a file, I would still download it before I just trusted that it will be there next time. Yes, it should be, but uh, this is still kind of new for all of us at Coast, the app stream and the cloud-based storage. Uh, so it, I think I would really download a file um, if it was very important, took you a long time to create, just in case until until we really test out that these files are secure and safe uh, for long periods of time. But again, we have this MXD file that I've loaded. I'm in the ARC map, so if I wanted to, I can load that file by clicking on File Open. I will go to this PC and I will see the home folder here. Inside of the home folder is the Dave's home folder that I created earlier and uh, my file as well. So I, I can highlight that file, open that file, turn on my imagery and street mapping, and here I am with that file loaded into ArcMap. Now when we're done working for the day, we can save that file, save that file as, and uh, say we wanted to just save it as a different file name from this, call that uh, B. Save that file. We will find that file again under this third icon of My Files, Home Folder. There's my, my B file. And again, I would recommend downloading any file that you had spent some good amount of time working on for the day, just until we are sure that this, uh, this really works as well as we hope. When you're all done, you can close out um, the program that you're working in. You don't really get much if you close it, just kind of this black screen here. You can relaunch a program by going back to the catalog and bringing the program back up if you lose it. But when you're done for the day, what we recommend you do is save all your files, download any important files back to your local computer, and then we can log out of this instance. And we log out of the instance by using this icon here, the little person, and we have this end session option. We will end the session. It will confirm that we would like to end our session. We do. And at that point, we are done, and we can close our browser. And that's the end of the demonstration for AppStream 2.0. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the IT service desk. You can reach them also through infoservices.cccd.edu. Thank you. Have a great day.